Hey guys, it's okay. So today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys about trying to get my fishing level on Stardew Valley up. I know you guys have seen a ton of Terraria videos. And um, yeah, but we just got the gaming PCs as you guys all know and we're really excited to be using them. And the Terraria videos are, they're exciting. Like Stardew Valley is not like you're fighting enemies and you have to craft things. Well, you do have to craft things, but you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I've been playing a lot of Terraria with Nick, and we've been having a really good... What is happening? We've been having a really good time doing that. My computer, like, glitched, and it scared the crap out of me. I've already had one scare today with this computer, and I was just like, what is happening? Did you hear me? Oh, if you guys didn't notice... Um, the last time I was on here, I went ahead and I changed all of this used to be, uh, wood slats. So I changed it all to cobblestone because I think it looks nicer. And that is part of the fun of Stardew Valley 2 is it's just kind of like... I told Nick, I said I had to play Stardew Valley before I go to bed so I can just, like, relax. It's a very relaxing video. So if you do hear Nick talking, he is talking to me about Terraria and some upgrades and things that we're going to be getting for our, um, like, armors and stuff like that. It has nothing to do with Stardew Valley, so. So we're going to be trying to do a bunch of fishing today. We're going to do some in the lakes by our house. Because this is a Riverland um, style farm. And we're going to be doing some um, over in like beside where the blacksmith is. And we're going to be doing some in the ocean. So yeah, it's going to be really fun. Uh, I used to really hate, Nick can attest to this. I used to hate the fishing, but since I started playing it on PC, like, a year ago-ish, God, I can't believe that just happened. Um, I really started to really in come into my own and really enjoy playing the fishing portions of it, but it's taken time because it's very, um, I want to say things can't think of anything to say. Oh, it's very, like, tedious. Because yeah. you feel like you're doing it, and you're clicking, and you're clicking, and you're clicking, and nothing's happening. <laughs> you know? And the, or, like, the fish will, like, go away. It's it's awful. It really is. I'm hoping I'll get something good, since it's by that big piece of wood. I'm hoping that I'll actually get a fish that'll be good. See, this one's got a little bit of fight in it. What is it? A smallmouth bass. The same kind of fish I just got from... <sighs> but yeah, Nick's gonna go eat, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go eat and, uh, and potty. So, yeah, so we're just gonna be trying to do some fishing. I'll show you guys my fishing level. It is... A nine. Oh, that's forging. Fishing is a nine. And then once I get this up to a ten and this up to a ten, foraging, I will start doing um, mining and combat a little bit more. I hate combat. <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Combat is my least favorite. It's probably going to take me the longest to get. I'm gonna go, we're gonna go over to the ocean. I just wanna do like a, a little bit of fishing, like a little bit of everywhere. This is jazz. Great. Do some fishing right here. So when there's a treasure chest, I try to get it way to the top, and then I go up here and I hang out where the treasure chest is, and then I come back, and hopefully we'll get both this time. Yes. So we got a sunfish and a treasure chest that has a chicken statue in it, which I think I've already turned in. We're going to see right now. Oh, it doesn't tell me. I'm not going to go give it to the guy, though. Okay, so, since I've already... 
Oh, look, we can pan right here. Ooh, copper wire and frozen tear. All right. She like or uh, Sebastian likes frozen tears. That's how you know that I have literally played this game way too long because I know who likes what. Shrimp over there. I gotta put. Okay. Give me some good news. Anyway, I didn't put anything back in these ones. Yes, fly away. And then I'm gonna take the shrimp out of this one and put in that. And then we're gonna go fishing right here because I, if I'm not mistaken, which I generally am not, well, other than the fact that I'm fishing in the wrong direction, somebody told me you can get some good stuff from this rock. <sighs> As I literally get seaweed. Really? That's okay. So, how are you guys today? I am going to be doing another Doki Doki Literature Club video with Nick very soon. Um, people seem to like it, the last one we did, so. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing that soon. I'm playing a lot of Terraria because I absolutely adore it. And I am so happy to play with Nick again because I really took a hard break from Terraria for a while because it wasn't exciting to me anymore. But I have stepped away from it for so long now. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, perfect. That I am super excited to start playing it again. So, sometimes that's just what it takes, you know? You know, it just takes stepping away from something for a little bit to be like, I like this again. Like, this is a good thing. Um, but yeah, so that's what we are, we've been doing. Plus, my favorite thing to do is to, um, to dig and to find the ores and to battle the enemies and stuff. So, I feel like I do a lot more of that with Terraria than I do with, um, this chest. Then I do with um, Stardew. Because so, I mean I can go to the caves and I can technically. Yes. I need to take that actually. We're going to go take that right now. Um, I'm going to go break open some geodes. But I can technically do that. Uh, in the caverns and stuff, but I feel like I die. Like, wait, like if you die in this game, it costs you money, and I'm just like, Ugh, I don't really want to lose my money because I've been like working hard. She works hard for the money. Boop, boop, so hard for it, honey. So I'll break that one. Ooh, break that one. Ooh, iron. She works hard for the money, so you better treat her right. Do I have anything that you would like? No, I do not. Do. What? Did you make your barato? Yes. He has a barato. Yas Queen. I don't know if I'm actually going to hit level 10 today, but we're going to be doing a lot of fishing. I wonder if it's better to sell your fish to Willie I think so. or to make it into sashimi and sell it. I don't know. I don't know either. That is something I'm going to have to look up. Ugh.
Oh my god, forget it. I think I just found her next sword. He's talking about Traria. It's, yeah. Uh, it's called a corrupted pressure blade. It looks really crazy if you look on this. Darn. It does 39 damage. Wow. Looks really cool, huh? That might be one of our next Oh, swords. yeah, it does look cool. It does 39. Oh, wow, thank you. I finally got a fish. Jeez. If those bubbles are there, it's supposed to be good fishing, right? Right. Why do I keep getting algae? It hits the little blue sparklies and everything's hunky-dory and then I get algae. Not nice, Stardew. We have to go home soon. <sighs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm glad that I'm recording this. What I literally got four allergies in a row. Look, see how it has a little, the good fishing here indicator? Oh, now that he looks, I'm going to keep getting fish. I was really hoping I was going to hit the freaking, for this video, hit my 10 level. Actually, I think you don't get it till the night time. I missed that one. That was my fault. Sorry, Johnny. Oh, if we beat the uh, that desert scourge guy, he gives us a really cool sword called a, called aquatic discharge. <laughs> Which sounds like, you know, when you really when you're swimming for a long time and you have to go. Um, pee pee? Yeah. I think the funniest part is when I'm on Terraria, I'm trying to use. I just realized I'm trying to use Stardew Valley controls. Oh. That's why I changed them. You know? That's crazy. He's not listening. He start. did one of those weird answers where he's like, that's crazy. And you're like... <laughs> yeah, when, when, you're, when you're playing Terraria, you're using Stardew Valley controls. You're trying to do that. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, this might be our other sword, too. Oh, shoot. You have to get it from a demon, though. This one. Well, you're here. Oh, uh huh. I feel like the world's gone crazy.
I don't really want that. That's the only reason I'm selling it. I got quite a few fish, actually. Okay. I need to start making... I need to get more coal. And to get coal, I have to go into the mines, right? Yep. I don't want to go down there. <laughs> but I have to. Ooh, this other good one... Oh, no, wait. This is not a good one. Really. Nope. Oh, yeah, it is. This, this, the mayonnaise machine. Okay. We're gonna put these right here. This here. Leave a purr. A purr. We're going to go to bed. See if I haven't hit level 10 of fishing yet. Let's see, let's see. I don't think I've hit it yet. Oh wow, that's good. Why? Why? What does it take? Anyway, you guys, that was my second or third or I think this is a fourth playthrough of Stardew Valley. Hopefully in the next video, I will get my level 10 of fishing. I'm watching the dog and the guy stare at each other. Well, he keeps moving over here. I'm worried he's going to be like the Wii is invited to the Yeti cord. Fox, stop. See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done it so already, please make sure that you there, you in the camera, make sure that you like, make sure that you comment, make sure that you subscribe. Bye, guys.